are here and we were here since the last election. Remember 2017, we continue to gather and work with you, with the nation, to try to encourage our people to walk the talk of peace as we come towards the 2022 elections. It went faster than we expected. The elections were to take place, they did take place on the 9th of August 2022. And for a period now of almost seven days today, like being the sixth, we have been following step by step. Among the team we have together here are members of the faith, we have the Muslim brothers, the Muslim faith, we have NCCK present, we have R present, we have uh, the KCCB where I re uh, represent and others, EAK, and then Hindu, uh, uh, the Hindu members of, the church, of that uh, faith. Today we gather to also to appreciate a conclusion that we had also were looking forward to, a conclusion of the long wait of in the period of campaign, after the elections, the tallying at the different stages from the counties, and today the announcement, we were called quickly to be told the announcements are being made in the afternoon. So we took off a small group of us to go to Bomas and await none other but the organ that was charged by the Constitution to announce the, uh, the election results of the presidents. There we were, waited quite a while, thanking God and praying and singing and enjoying who we are as Kenyans. But the time came when um, none other but uh, Chepukati and his team were to announce. And lo and behold, before he did to announce, it was hit by rejection by the people, by some section of the community that came in while we were still there. Though so that brought about a very ugly scene, and I'm sure you Kenyans have seen it, it kind of surprised us because we campaigned elected in peace, and we were sure, the, though the results were very, very, very close as we had, and we already warned that the numbers of the, mainly the two main aspirants were very, very close. There was an, a way, uh, an indication that a particular member of that uh, team, the two teams, were not happy. So that ended up with a very bad, ugly scenes at the, at the moments of Kenya. But as Kenyans, we understood the pain because if we have been fighting and looking forward to winning, you don't want to lose. To Kenyans, all of us, some of us who are there, we really are with you in your pain, in your agony, in your uh, searching for peaceful election and announcing of the same. Nonetheless, after a short time and a break, uh, Mr. Chebukati came back and as is himself and his commissioners did announce what we were looking at, the announcing the results of the president's uh, docket. He announced, and lo and behold, at that time we all clapped and agreed this was coming to a closure, God willing, of what we were looking for. Whoever wins the number with the highest number becomes our choice as a Kenyans. And that was we agreed in terms of, as we preached and talked to our people, we said we have seen a lot, every election from back many years now, every election doesn't have to end up with a, a conflict which is, looks ugly. And I believe this is why we're here as bishops and uh, uh, archbishop and uh, some of our staff and our priests, that we want to call you Kenyans to say, look, we had it, we got it right. The technology helped us. 
today as we speak, we got to know, and it is clear that uh, uh, the, the portal that is supposedly to have these results, it's open. We and you and I can go there and look at the results. And therefore, I am uh, the chair of this body. I want to say, first of all, congratulations, Kenyans. We have gotten this far without throwing a stone at each other, with just small and minor skirmishes here and there, but more than that, able to conclude a very important part of our history, trying to get our next president, the fifth president of this country. So with this, uh, my brothers who are here, we want just to say, Yamani Poleni. But we know this does not mean we hate what happened. We say, we just hate the ugly scenes. But we know the pain they are going, or anyone could go through if he was expecting something different. So I call my other brothers here to add one of their voices to this event. A brother here from the Muslim community, Leonardo, and I'm sure he was also there. What do you do? How did you experience this? And what do you want to tell Kenyans today, my dear? Rahman uh, Good evening, uh, members of the press. Good evening in Kenya. What an unfortunate uh, event and actually shared by the chair, and I think I don't need to really to labor and explain. It is unfortunate that um, we have all of us celebrated the Kenyan democracy since the, since the beginning of the elections, the campaigns up to where we have reached. We have not recorded any. There are actually no major incidences that had happened before, up to up to today. And we thank God that Kenya have been able, Kenyans have been able to be patient, and also to accommodate one another, and try and find alternative ways of sorting out their differences. And that is through the voting, and because that is the tenets of democracy. In democracy, it is it is normally said the majority win, but the minority have their say. In this case, not every other member who contested over, over any position can actually win. In this country today, we have a total number of 15,082 candidates across the board, from MCAs, uh, MPs, senators, women rep, uh, governors, and the president. All the applicants we had are 15,082. The position that we're actually looking for is 1,800 positions. 1,800 only. And you can imagine that in 15,000, 13,000 Kenyans are not going to be elected to these offices because every office is only taking one person. So we expect to have over 13,000 Kenyans who have not been elected. It is unfortunate because we chose as a country to go the democracy way. And in democracy, that is what happens. We want to appeal to those who did not manage secure the position they contested for. It was not really um, the intention of anyone, but it only happened that those who sold their uh, manifestos and convinced Kenyans, they were voted in. But for those of you who in one way or the other did not manage to, get the, to secure the positions, we pray God for, for, for health and the future because we still have a life to live if Allah grants us a life after this election. Let us not burn our country. We, 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 we sympathize with what had happened, with those of you who, have, who are not elected, but let us not burn our country. We have children who are supposed to go to school this week, and we pray that they, have, they get an opportunity of going back to school. We have businesses to run. We have uh, jobs to do and everything else that we have to do to continue running this country with the most difficult moments after the let us be patient. Let us accept what had happened. And in case somebody is not uh, adequately uh, convinced of what transpired, the thing is to use the legal uh, procedures which we all of us know. Because we are a constitutional democracy and we know what happens if you are not convinced that the outcome is not favoring what you gained in the ballot. You are allowed and you have an opportunity of actually pushing it through the court process, so that as you pursue the court process, let Kenyans go back.
lives as they are supposed to be. Thank you, Kenyan. All of us share the pains, and we also share the joy for those who have managed to be elected. Thank you. We've, uh, thank you very much, Shadow, um, uh, for that, those statements. Kindly introduce yourself and share with us your sentiments about this matter. Now, <coughs> good day. Good evening, everybody. And uh, my name is Reverend Joseph Tompura, the presiding bishop of the Methodist Church in Kenya, and also a member of the NCK. Uh, in addition to what uh, my colleagues have just said, I'm here to call for calm, and I'm asking and really appealing to all my brothers and sisters in the country to make sure that there is peace in our streets, peace in our villages, peace in our towns, because peace is all that we need at this moment. We need peace to go out and about doing our own things, and the peace is only a counterpart. to do something, to make sure that you have acted responsibly as a leader and even as a young person or someone with any responsibility, we are calling upon you specifically to make sure that we have peace in, in our country. Without peace, uh, we will not have the benefits of getting any help anywhere from our will not be able to do any business at all and without without peace we are not going to have this country even as uh, we see today but we need our Kenya we need our people let us make everything peaceful that uh, we may find our country tomorrow we may find uh, and we may continue to live in joy and uh, that very peace. May God bless you. Thank you, Tamburi. We now invite um, Nana Archbishop Dambuki from NCCK and also too experienced um, the at the same time, he, was, he has something to tell us and share with us because this is where we are sitting, we are imagining and also uh, getting phone calls from different parts of this country that many areas are calm, but there is also an element he wants to share. Thank you, Chair. I'm Timothy Ndambuki, the Archbishop of African Brotherhood Church and the Chairman of NCCK. I want first to, uh, to make a call to all the Kenya citizens in this country to continue committing themselves to prayer. Every religion has a responsibility and a duty to ensure unity, peace, and national cohesion prevails. And uh, for that matter, we are here to, to make an appeal to all Kenyans to uphold that because every holy book contains that call, especially when we look at the Bible, John 17, when an institution, including the church, a nation, is in unity, it must prosper. Again, to our Kenya citizens, we want to ask them, as, as religious leaders in this country, to uphold the law. We have a constitution that guides our steps towards any direction we go as a nation. And this constitution calls for unity and a cohesion as well. Just like the, the, the Bible and the holy books uh, uh, also do. And for that matter, we want Kenyans 
to try to avoid to cause any chaos on this uh, uh, on disturb any activity or event that is going on we need to be law abiding we need to be kenyans who have who, who follow and they observe the law and by observing the law according to the experience that i observed uh, today if we really love our country we would respect our constitution if anything goes wrong we need to correct it by following our own constitution and the law we uh, and if kenyans will follow that suit we are going to maintain our peace and our peace is our development our peace is our future for this nation thank you thank you I pass them on now to none other but uh, Archbishop Ole Sapit, who was, he actually had the courage to say the prayer there. And in between that, he has also his sentiment to share with us. Uh, we respect very, very, very much each of one of us and what they are able to share with us. And I want us to be able to hear what is not being said. We have worked so hard, Kenyans, to get this far. Do you want to break it in a day and get back to the other route we had already lost, we had already left? Uh, please, uh, Your Grace, kindly share your sentiments at the moment. I'll begin by saying good evening, Kenyans, and <coughs> good evening uh, all of us who are here. Uh, ours is uh, to religious leader of this country. Nation, duty call. We uphold this nation together to be united, not to be divided, but to thrive as a people. Our call to every one of us is that we have gone through an election, highly competed. At the end of it all, a leader has emerged, as declared by IABC. That does not mean that those who feel aggrieved does not have an avenue to challenge and we urge them to challenge through the normal places so that we don't challenge through the streets because that will destroy the very Kenya we all want to build. Our message, even for those who are celebrating now, is to celebrate responsibly, knowing that Kenya belongs to all of us. And for the one who is going to lead us, given now the mandate to lead this nation, our prayer is that he's going to embrace everybody, those who elected him, and those who did not elect, because Kenya belongs to all of us. We have an economy to grow, and we can grow that economy when every Kenya participates. We also want to urge that uh, the whole country be kept together so that we can be able to be a nation that will continue to thrive. And for the faith leaders who stand here tonight, we all stand in solidarity of the Kenyan people. Actually, we are here because of the Kenyan people the children born and unborn, those vulnerable in every community, those who need their services. And that's why the, we normally, as faith uh, organization, complement government effort to ensure that services uh, as are rendered to the Kenyan people the best way we can. We want to continue to commit that our services will continue and uh, ours is for the Kenyan people to win. And I think today what we urge every Kenyan is that you count yourself as a winner when we maintain peace, because it is in peace that we can grow and thrive together. May God bless Kenya. May God bless all of us together. Together, Asante Nisana. Thank you. Thank you, Your Grace, uh, Ola Sapit, those remarks, and also encouraging us to make the bold step of not being uh, sidelined, especially in the area of peace and cohesion. Archbishop uh, uh, Muheria was able to invite us to reflect again in terms of um, where are we going, where do we want to go, and how do we go there? Dear Kenyans, our dear leaders, we stand here in representing all the religious leaders 
who would otherwise would have wished to be here. We want to call on all the religious leaders across the country to raise their hands in prayer, to place this nation in prayer. We want to ask every one of us who believes in God, all of us believe in God, all of us have a conscience, that our grandchildren, and those who come after, expect a legacy, and we do not want to give them a dented patrimony. Therefore, as my brothers and sister have said, I will add no more but to say, dear Kenyan, keep peace. Let us keep peace. Amen. Dear Kenyan, peace to you. Amen. All these leaders <coughs> send you peace. Amen. In your woundedness, we give you peace. Amen. Our dear candidate who did not come out victorious for the presidency, we give you peace. Amen. We ask you to receive that peace in your heart and give it back to our nation. Amen. Our dear president-elect, we give you peace, Amen. but also give peace to us Amen. and give peace to your contenders. Amen. It is this that is our prayer today. And with the permission of our chair, we'll conclude with just a prayer that invites all religious leaders, wherever you are, and we here, to raise our hands to God. Mm. And you who believe, raise your heart mm. to God. Mm. Let this country mm. be placed in his hands. Mm. And we place it in his hands because you and I will give each other the great gift mm. of peace. Mm. Heavenly Father, you who has given us such a wonderful nation. Heavenly Father, who has given us such a wonderful population of different tribes or different talents, a people who normally work and live together. Heavenly Father, you've given us great hospitality and love, and in this nation, you have guided us up to now in great prosperity. We want to bring this nation in these moments in your hands. The nation is each and every one of the Kenyans here present. A Kenyan who voted in one way or voted in the other. A Kenyan who now may be celebrating, a Kenyan who may be feeling disappointed. Mm. We bring them all to your <clears throat> hands, and we want to ask you that you may give them the graces mm. to calm their emotions, to lift their heart to you, mm. and so give a legacy for our nation, mm. and give a legacy to those who come, our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Mm. Do appease those troubled hearts, especially of those who have lost the vote count and at this moment feel that they didn't achieve. Show them that they have not lost, but rather they have contributed to our nation mm. and have contributed to the witness. Mm. Of all those troubled members of our population, dear Lord, we ask, give them peace. Yes. May peace rest in them, in their hearts and in their families. Amen. Heavenly Father, we know we still have a long way for our nation. We ask you now, open the way for this nation. Open the way that is the greatness of the Kenya we desire. With the baby steps that we make, may we follow the legal systems that we've been told for any redress. But above all, may we love our country and worthy it and hold it in worth, knowing it's worth everything, mm. and it is not worth losing our country mm. for any reason. Mm. When there are ways we can solve it, yes. may you bring us together as a nation. Yes. May you hold us in unity. May you hold us as brothers and sisters. Mm. And may you guide us that we defend in our nation, not from outside, but from our own selves, mm. by giving each other peace. Mm. God bless our nation. God bless all our leaders. Mm -hmm. God bless all those who feel disappointed and those who rejoice. Mm -hmm. But we, the religious mm -hmm. leaders, wish to be there for every single one <coughs> of our Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And we promise you, Lord, to stand by them, even when they feel aggrieved or when they feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. And with this gathered here, we thank you for giving us this fellowship 
and this great company mm -hmm. of religious leaders. Mm -hmm. May we continue protecting, holding this nation, holding our leaders and our citizens. Kenyans, God is with us. Mm -hmm. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Therefore, we conclude with our prayer of our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, bless our nation, bless the work of our hands, and bring us back our country, a country that needs peace and harmony again in family, in the tribes, and also in the areas where all of us work and live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. nyumba ya mikutano ya Donum Day eneo la Karen kwenye jimbo kuu Katoliki la Nairobi imekuwa ni ujumbe wa sala maalum ambayo imetolewa na viongozi wa dini tofauti tofauti kama tulivyosikia wawakilishi wa dini ya uh, Kiislamu dini ya Kihindi ya Mahindu dini ya Bahai na Wakristu kutoka madhehebu mbalimbali kati ya wale ambao wameongea ni wasimamizi na viongozi wa kanisa NCCK Protestant ama tanza pamoja na evangelicals kati ya uh, viongozi ama maaskofu wa katoliki ni wa, watatu ambao ni maaskofu wakuu mwenyekiti wa baraza la maaskofu hapa nchini eh, mwasha maaskofu mkuu Martin Kivuva kutoka Jimbo Katoliki Kuu la Mombasa, Mheshimiwa Askofu Mkuu Anthony Moheria kutoka Jimbo Katoliki la Nyeri na Mheshimiwa Askofu Mkuu uh, uh, Maurice Muhati Makumba kutoka Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Kisumu. Kati ya wengine ambao ni maaskofu tumekuwa naye Askofu John Obala wa Jimbo Katoliki la Ngong, Askofu Michael Odiwa Jimbo Katoliki la Homabe, Mheshimiwa Askofu Mark Kadima kutoka Jimbo Katoliki la Bungoma, Mheshimiwa Askofu Norman wa Mbua Kingo Jimbo Katoliki la uh, Machakos pamoja naye Mheshimiwa Askofu Dominic kimengechi kutoka Jimbo Katoliki la Eldoret kwetu hapa ni kuendelea kuomba nchi kwa ajili ya amani na utengamano na tunakushukuru kwa kufuatilia matangazo haya kumbuka kwamba tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa namna ya pekee siku ya leo kwamba miaka mitano siku kama ya leo masaa kama haya uh, ndipo ambapo tulizaliwa Kabuchin TV imezaliwa miaka mitano tunashukuru wale wote ambao wamefanikisha kueneza injili hapa nchini kutoka jimbo tofauti we mpenzi mtazamaji wa Kabuchin TV endelea kufuatilia matangazo yetu tunakuenzi na tunakupongeza kwa kuwa pamoja nasi na tunakutakia baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu tunaendelea kuomba kwa ajili ya ama ni na maelewano katika nchi yetu kwa niaba ya wote waliofanikisha matangazo haya kutoka e, nyumba hii ya mikutano ya Donum Day eneo la Karen Mungu akubariki na kukulinda mhaya mimi ni ndugu Mfransisko Mkapuchini pita waweru uwe na John Njema amani kwako na nyumba yako
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Mpendo muumini tumsifu Yesu Kristu milele amina Masaa hupita siku husonga mbele na miezi kugeuka kuwa miaka. Tangu jioni ya siku ya Jumanne tarehe 15 Agosti mwaka wa 2017, runinga hii uipendayo kitambulisho Katoliki. Sasa tunafikisha miaka mitano. Imetimia miaka mitano ya huduma ya uinjilishaji, miaka mitano ya kutangaza na kusongeza injili mbele pamoja nawe. Huduma kwenye jumuiya zetu, parokia, dekania na jimbo zetu. Huduma kwa vikundi na mashirika ya kanisa. Tumefikisha miaka mitano kwa sababu ya ukarimu na ukaribu wako kwetu. Tumefikisha miaka mitano kwa sababu wewe mtazamaji umeendelea kutupenda na kutuenzi. Tunakushukuru zaidi kwa kufungua moyo wako ukawa mkarimu kwetu. Tunakushukuru kwa kutukaribisha sebuleni mwa nyumba yako kupitia kwa runinga hii. Tunakuahidi kwamba tutaendelea kutangaza habari njema na kukuza imani na maadili ya Kikristu. Kwa watazamaji na wadhamini wetu wote, asanteni sana kwa wema na ukarimu wenu kwetu. Mungu azibariki kazi za mikono yenu pamoja na familia zenu. Kapuchin TV. Tunajivunia miaka mitano ya uinjilishaji pamoja nawe. Kwa kesi kwa changu, kwa nafila kwa 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 kwa